Generalizations are false, including this one, Mark Twain. It's Thursday here on the Five Fat Collab. I'm your host, Chris, a.k.a. Papanico. That's with two P's and two K's. You can find my contact information and personal channel in the description, as well as the other members of our team. This week, we're talking about ageism. And now, let's turn it over to Josh and see what he thinks. Hey, Chris. Thanks for having me in your video this week to talk about ageism from my perspective. As somebody who is no longer a twink, but not yet a middle-aged man, um, I can tell you what I think. And I was recently in the Mr. Gay Canada competition and I was the oldest candidate. And I felt old, but it's not like I'm over the hill. Um, but I think a lot of that is just in my head. Um, it does come obviously from the media and influences around me. And now, let's turn it over to Alex. All right, hey y'all, what's up? I'm Alex, also known as Life of Gay here on YouTube, or known as your Tuesday here on That Gay Crew. So everyone's opinion of dating is different. Just because I don't have a certain gender, sexual orientation, and age doesn't mean everyone of the same type as me has the same opinion. Everyone's ideas of dating is different, and no two people are gonna have the same idea of what dating can and can't be. My generation goes to various places to meet people. Well, I can only speak for myself. I go to fundraisers, dinner parties, or any kind of group organization event. In my younger days, I would go to the bar every Friday and Saturday night. Now in my less young years, the thought of that really kind of makes me tired. Now when it comes to the younger generation and kind of talking about where we go to meet people, it is a lot different from older people and how they tend to meet people. You know, they're older, they can do more. But when it comes to the younger generation, me being 18 and talking about 18 and younger, they may not have access to that kind of thing. So when it comes to the younger generation, how they usually meet up, usually it's either through school or kind of just meeting other people through friends. Usually young people are very restricted on where they can go and what they can do. Now, would people treat me different if I were older? Probably a lot more, especially since I tend to be a more serious YouTuber here. A lot of people dismiss everything I have to say because I'm younger, especially when it comes to religious subjects, because people feel I'm young, I know nothing about life, I know nothing about anything, because I'm young, and that's not a very good way to look at the younger generation. You can't expect them to build up any kind of self-esteem and kind of get that higher education to kind of understand the world more if you're constantly putting them down saying, oh, you don't understand this, you don't understand this, you're young. Now, when it comes to older people being treated different, they are treated a lot more different and I actually, you know, I try to break this chain. A lot of the younger YouTubers here and a lot of younger people in general, especially in the gay community, kind of tend to dismiss older people because to them, oh my god, they're gay and they're old. Oh my god, you have wrinkly. I'm not kind of like that. I do have older gay friends. I love them, they're beautiful people. You know, they're still children inside and they're absolutely amazing to hang out with. They're actually amazing to talk to. But older people, you know, you guys do have it hard and the younger generation, you know, we do realize that. So, I don't know, I'm sure, you know, ageism is obviously out there. It is something that exists, but I don't find that it's really affecting my life anyway that much other than just getting into my head sometimes and making me think silly things like I'm over the hill. I have dated people my age, younger than me, and older than me. Age to me is really not a criterion. It's more how you act and what you have to offer. I think the older we get, or at least for me, the wider the net goes. Is age just a number? Of course it is. I think it's more important of how you act. Now, do I find older people attractive? Now, keep in mind, I'm actually gonna tell you guys a little secret about my dating life. I've never dated anyone younger than me. When I was 14, I was dating a 26 year old. Yeah, pretty intense, right? Never dated anyone younger than me. Actually never had a crush on someone younger than me. Do I find older people attractive? I guess, to an extent of in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s? Uh, depends. I'd have to get to know them. I'm not a person that really bases off age because I feel age is just a number and I honestly don't give a crap about age. But it's more personality wise. Some people are just attracted to older people. If a 20 year old is attracted to a 40 year old or a 60 year old, so what? A 60 year old is attracted to a 20 year old, so what? Who am I to judge? 
Who is anyone to judge? What do I think of people who date older or date younger? Now, of course, like I mentioned before, I don't care. I honestly don't. But to an extent, there is always a line. No matter what you do in life, there is a line. There isn't a point where the older person in the relationship does have to stop and think if he is going to date younger, how much younger, and what point is the stopping point. Regardless of age, I think looks always plays a factor in this whole thing. Some people like smooth twinks. Some people like bears. Some people like muscle hunks. Some people like bigger people. Some people like vanilla. Some people like chocolate. I feel like we sort of celebrate the differences within our own community. I'm very aware of bear culture and leather culture and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I feel like it's definitely got a strong presence. There is a lot we can gain from every generation. I have always maintained relationships with younger and older people. I value their opinions and I value what they've gone through. Look, some people in general can be mean and a bitchy queen can be really mean. It all comes down to personality and values. Sometimes it's important that we all look in the mirror. Sometimes our attitude determines how other people are going to react. Hang out with those people that bring you up. Everyone has something to offer. And if you don't think you have something to offer, then you really don't. Keep in mind, you're living now. You only have one chance to live. So let go of everything bad that happened to you in the past and live now. So enjoy it. Uh, thanks a lot again for having me in your video. And I'll see you soon. Toodles. So I really hope this kind of helped you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So smile and bye. Thank you so much to Alex and Josh for being here. Their personal channels will be in the description. Be sure to check them out. So I wish you all the best. Peace and hugs. Until next time, Papa Nico out.